Time to feed the fish. When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What up, YouTube? Hey, this your boy Happy Aftermath, man. You know what it is. Uh, G Fuel, 30% off, man. So if you guys will go to gfuel.com, grab you some of that G Fuel um, and the Hydrate Formula. It's a better um, advantage over Gatorade. Sugar-free. Keep your electrolytes up. You know what I'm saying? Healthy. But today's focus is uh, shoulders. And um, there's something I kind of want to tell you guys that really has been helping me out with my shoulder strength as far as like shoulder pains stuff like that um really pushing that away and that's to mainly start out focusing on the rear delts first in my shoulder workouts um thinking about everything that i do i used to just think about doing shoulder press first off get the heavyweight stuff out the way but then again further thinking about it closely Benching already takes care of those front delts. I bench a lot um, and You know the more I bench the more shoulder tightness in the front and the more of that hunch you get over when you're over exaggerating those um, Those bench sets. So I've actually chilled out with the overhead pressing the more I bench in the past, you know, I used to just live and die by the overhead press especially for increasing my bench, but you know when you're trying to focus on fully developed shoulders what's really going to give you that 3d effect with the shoulders is those rear delts and that's one thing we probably don't train enough um, my shoulders could look a lot better uh, they could be brought out a lot better you know we always stick to the main uh, shoulder press, Arnold press, and then some lateral raises and front raises. And I bet you a lot of times we don't hit the rear delts as hard as we hit everything else. And I think, um, I know actually, when it comes to building the greatest shoulders, the rear delts should be your main focus. Um, so I'm starting to see my shoulders come out a little bit more. I'm starting to see that more rounded top where I can set a Coke can on that bad boy. And uh, that's what you want. You know so this video is much of a reminder for you to focus more so on those rear delts than anything else when it comes to shoulders rear delts and lateral raises and um, just lateral movements and I think you will be okay and have much healthier shoulders in the long run because um, like I said the more I bench the heavier I bench the more my front delt I mean my, yeah, my front delts um, get that tightness and really start to um, lag myself when it comes to benching what I mean by lag is that I mean the tighter it gets the more pain I get and you know you just start to have overdeveloped front delts um, so you'll see a lot of cable movements um, from me now on when it comes to the shoulders I feel the best contractions pumps and um, growth when I do shoulder um, I'm sorry when I do cable movements and I'll end it with dumbbell movements, uh, but first and foremost, it will always be cable movements first, uh, just because I get that good, nice pump, that blood flow that I need to feel um, to have a good shoulder workout. Now, back then, it was just all free weight stuff, and I understand some people don't have the equipment to do uh, a lot of cable movements that's cool you can still do much needed work with dumbbells you know don't don't think that there's no hope without cables there's still hope with cables um, I believe that when you do dumbbells it should be for the heavier sets 
um, if you're not using cable. Like with dumbbells, I'll try to do some lateral raises with 35 pounds. I'll try to do a lot of drop sets, which you'll see in this video. Um, I'll drop set with some dumbbells. And I love doing drop sets for shoulders. They really, so you see me right now, I'm, I'm going from front raise, lateral raises, front raises to upright rows um, to hit those traps and the lateral heads and the rear delts. So I'm just working everything all around. And the least focus I have on this video, you'll see watching it, is my front delts. Uh, I, I did some front, front delt raises with the cable and that was pretty much like it in this little monster set right here with the cables. And I like doing it, um, the front raises with me facing towards the cables and pulling it up just because I have more of a feel contraction in that front. Instead of just doing it with your back against the cables and then pulling it forward, I like to be front. So it's pulling it straight up. So it's just like a pull against. Um, so now you see me doing the drop set with the oh, Morty, excuse me, I did 25, 20, and uh, I think 15 with laterals lateral raises um, and I love doing this I don't like taking the dumbbells in the gym especially when there's a lot of people but hell you know sometimes you just got to get that work in I don't like being that guy but today I was that guy so I mean it is what it is son that's what my dad always said hey son man you know what hey shit it is what it is man you just gotta do what you gotta do man and I do lateral raises um, from the front from the side from the back um, all different types angles man you gotta work all the angles of them shoe walls man shout out to high swings and uh oh damn i just uh, think I'm gonna swallow a booger but um yeah just keep constant tension man i think shoulder workouts should have a lot of intensity you have to keep the intensity up for shoulder exercises because i feel like once you drop and start talking to somebody or whatever and you get out the groove then that pump's gone and then you just like damn what happened is this all of my life is this it am i not worthy to continue on can i develop the shoulders like i would like can i develop the broly of shoulders that is the question for you that is the question for me that is the question for god to answer and you will find out sooner or later yo but hey i'm done talking watch the rest of this video though When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny.